The first thing we're going to want to do in order to tether our camera is obviously connect it. Now, anytime you connect a camera to Aperture and turn the camera on, Aperture sees it as a device that it can import from. So the first thing that's going to happen here is the import dialog box is going to come up. In order to shoot in tethered mode, we just need to cancel out of that. So I'm just going to go down to the cancel button and I'm going to click that to get out of the import dialog box. Next thing we're going to want to do is go under the file menu, choose tether and choose start session. It'll bring up the tether settings. Now the tether settings are uh, basically a small version of the import dialog box and they ask us where we want to import our images to uh, and then some things about what we want to do to the images. So for example, I'm going to just type in my name here and my copyright information and now all the images that I bring in are going to be brought in with this copyright information. I'm going to hit the start session button. We'll notice that there's a small icon next to this project and it shows us that the D3 is connected. It shows us what the name of the project is that we're going to be importing into. At this point, we're going to hit the capture button. And when we hit the capture button, it's going to start a capture process, which is going to bring that image in from our camera. We'll notice when we do that, that the import dialog box starts to spin. And then after it's done spinning, it's uh, imported automatically into Aperture. Now, a couple things to remember about this. The first of all is that the cameras usually use USB 2.0 instead of FireWire, so their transfer time isn't fantastic. However, since you're going to be shooting straight into your Aperture project, you don't have to take the card out, bring it to a card reader, do a transfer. Another great thing about this is that you can actually start working on images while you're shooting. So you can have a studio assistant sitting at the computer and start to do color correction and keyword and captioning to your images while the photographer keeps shooting with their, their camera in tethered shooting mode. When you're done and you're finished doing tethered shooting, you simply hit the stop session button and Aperture disconnects from the camera.